Career Mode, where those who can't, do. Today, we're here to talk about MLB The Show's Road to the Show Mode, baseball's take on the mode where gamers create a player and enter the draft, progressing through their entire career, from those awkward, gangly teenage years to the Hall of Fame, or at least until you quit two years in and start again with a new player. Career modes are enjoying a quiet renaissance here in the early 2020s, mostly because 2K has figured out how to monetize them. And while MLB's Road to the Show mode lacks the ambition of 2K's My Player mode, Road to the Show has a quiet reliability that reminds one of baseball itself. Aw. But much like the sport of baseball, the cold passage of time hasn't been kind to the Road to the Show mode. And as the years pass, the imperfections of this game mode start to stand out more and more. We are Operation Sports, I'm Matt Ederer, and these are the top 5 things we need from MLB The Show 21's Road to the Show mode. Number 5. More pre- and post-game interactions with the media. Now, as someone who is speaking to you through YouTube at this very moment, I understand that media nowadays can be, well, terrible. However, media is such an all-encompassing factor of being an athlete in 2021, Road to the Show could stand to incorporate a little bit more of the media into their game. It should go far beyond the odd interview every couple of months, and the standard fake Twitter feed in sports games that refuses to die. I think anybody who plays these game modes wants something approaching realism. Just as a comparison, NBA 2K has done a great job of incorporating pre- and post-game interviews and even cutscenes with existing players into their career mode. Yes, Shaq asks some weird questions, and yes, fake Anthony Davis breaks into your apartment and makes you pasta for some reason, but I can't tell you for sure that either of those things are unrealistic. Number 4. More interaction with teammates. Poor guy, all lonely over there on the couch. If only he could stand up and talk to his friends. MLB The Show has started to integrate a player chemistry system where players gain boosts for playing against rivals, with friends, and of course, with teammates who have risen to the coveted bro status. However, this all seems very pre-scripted and arbitrary. In practice, your road to the show player is actually quite introverted. It would be nice if players could actually choose who to befriend and who to antagonize around the league and why. Or at the very least, let us walk around this sweet clubhouse. I want to see what's in the beer fridge. I bet it's beer. Or pure human growth hormone. Number 3. Contact your agent mid-season. The addition of a shadowy deus ex machina agent to help you request trades and switch positions during the season was a good start. Unfortunately, you can't actually contact your agent, they can only reach out to you, which they will randomly do two or three times during the year. So if you're stuck behind a few players in a lineup, or if you just want to get out of Baltimore, you pretty much have no control of that process. Of course you could argue that's just like real baseball. But adding an agent to the game who you can't actually contact yourself is kind of just a tease. It would be nice if you can contact your agent at any point throughout the season. It would also be nice if your agent could get you sponsorships with various apparel companies. I want this guy to be negotiating a deal with Starter for my own 1990 style jacket. Number 2. Playable High School and College Seasons Generally speaking, we need more depth to the pre-draft process. The show's current pre-draft process has players perform a few drills, play in two prospect games, and then be drafted to a team forever. Well, I guess not forever. Players can choose to return to college after being drafted, but doing so has no noticeable effect on your player at all, other than bumping them up one overall point and sending them right back to the start to do this whole rigmarole again. The easiest way to fix the pre-draft portion of career mode would be to create a quick and easy high school or college season to play through, maybe 10 to 20 games. These could even be optional, as I'm sure some players would prefer to play Major League Baseball as quickly as possible. But, having the option to play meaningful games that improve or hurt your ratings before the draft, 
even against fake high schools or colleges, would make the pre-draft process feel much less generic. Number 1. Off-Season Overhaul Perhaps the biggest flaw with Road to the Show mode is that off-seasons come and go with almost no impact to your player. You can negotiate a contract and go to arbitration, but even then, the money you make really doesn't matter at all. It's not as though you can spend this money on anything in the game. The lack of off-season excitement is a problem for every sports game career mode, but MLB's feels particularly toothless. Thankfully, I have a few suggestions. Players should be able to focus on a specific aspect of their game that needs improvement during the offseason, the way every athlete in every sport in the history of the world has. Want to add 15 pounds of muscle to your core in the offseason, like Jose Canseco did every single year until he looked like Lex Luger? Great! Want to lose 40 pounds worth of delicious Toronto cuisine like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. did this offseason? Great! The world should be your oyster in the offseason. Improve your speed, improve your defense, whatever. Spring training would also be a good place to try on new positions for your player, or even new batting stances or pitches if you're a pitcher. Players could also use this time to change up their looks, and perhaps unlock new hairstyles or tattoo options with all those millions of fake dollars that they aren't spending. That's going to do it for us today at Operation Sports, but if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, tell a friend, and vanquish all those who oppose us. And if you have any comments, or if you think we missed anything, holler at us in the comment section below, on Twitter at Operation Sports, or over at the Operation Sports forums. And if you liked my crackly Canadian voice, well, my name is Matt Ederer, and I host NXT Talk every Thursday morning on Patreon as part of Sunday night's main event radio. If you like pro wrestling, check out SNME Radio as we head into WrestleMania season, the Super Bowl of people pretending to fight in their underpants. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there.